Let's chat. What's up? I'm, I'm having a great time. It's my first Comic Con. I'm taking it all in, having a great day, and uh, getting into the cast. Kind of Entering this whole world must be a must be a lot of fun. I mean, you it's not your first TV stint, but it's no, kind of different from what we know you from last. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm a Broadway theater guy. I do a lot of uh, music and singing and all that sort of stuff. So um, it was kind of my goal this year to come out to LA and for pilot season and find something uh, to sort of expand my horizons. And this is what hit. Kind of perfect fit for me, and uh, I'm pumped. Is and people, people are, would always ask me, like before I got this, what's your like next? What, what do you really want to do? And I was like, well, I really want to be a superhero, but so we're we're, we're halfway there. <laughs> There's a lot of musical theater people entering the superhero yeah. arena. Like you guys are That's taking Greg over. Lanty, man. Greg okay. Lanty, he's, such a, he's a musical learner. Okay. It's true. So it's all him. Uh, well, and you know, it's. I think it's. I think it's an underestimated world of actors that people sort of can sometimes brush aside saying, oh, well, that's not real, or that's not something that translates to other things. So hopefully we can prove them all wrong. Do you think there's a similarity between the heightened theatrical um, Sure, especially with my character because he is like very excitable, and he uh, and and he sort of lives in this strange hyper reality. Especially once he finds out who uh, his like best friend Kara really is, it's it becomes this sort of hyperbolic world all around him. So yeah, but I mean, you also have to find the ground equality in the cameras, you know, like this. So if you're making too big of a face, I can. Uh, <laughs> It can seem like much, but you know, for me, I'm still kind of learning and, and growing and finding all the different nuances that make film different than theater. So your character, uh, Winslow, that's the same name as the villain Toyman. It is. Can you tell us anything about that? That's weird, I never heard of that before. That's strange. Huh. Revelation. <laughs> no, uh, you know, as of as of now, we, he shares a, a sa the same name as a as a infamous villain from the uh, DC universe. Um, that's kind of all he shares at the moment. Uh, I think we are creating new and interesting origin stories for all of these characters, uh, including mine. And so he's being reimagined, and how far he goes towards that. Uh, I think it's yet to be seen, but I think it would be really fun to explore how much he can change throughout the course of the series, because right now he's this youthful, really fun, excited, and uh, that kid that's just, his best friend just told him that she's a superhero, and, but there's also a bit of unrequited love there, so maybe that sort of takes you um, I'm just guessing. I have no idea. So I haven't told you much about Rose. No, they don't. I mean, I have like a couple of ideas what might be happening in episode two, but that's <laughs> very far from what that may be. So we'll see. All right, guys, that's all. Thank you. Thank you.